If this video reaches 80 likes, I'm gonna be saying the cubicle 10,000 times on stream. Mark my words. This is the 2018 X-Men Bell Pyraminx V1 and recently GAN released their newest GAN Pyraminx. Can this 2 year old Pyraminx compete with GAN's newest technology? Well, let's find out. Hey guys, what's up? It's Avicuber, welcome back to another cubing video. So in this video, we will be reviewing the GAN Pyraminx enhanced version and comparing it to the Bell V1. Starting off with some basic specs here, the GAN Pyraminx Enhanced comes at a hefty price of $28.99 at thecubicle.us. It comes with only a stickerless version and weighs 68.2 grams and it is extremely light. For the Bell V1, it comes at $14.15, black, white, and stickerless versions are available and weighs 100.10 grams. As you can see, there is a huge difference between the price, options, and its weight. For the price, I'll have to give it to the Bell V1 and appearance to the GAN Pyraminx. Unboxing the GAN Pyraminx was a great experience. It's because of the bubble wrap. If you guys haven't seen my unboxing yet, please go check it out. Link down in my description. So in the box, you get a numerical GS spring system by GAN, some pamphlets, and the Pyramix itself. The box itself is premium, so I can say that you really got what you paid for. And I also forgot to mention that this Pyramix does come in three different versions. One, the standard version coming at 18.99, the Explorer's version coming at 23.99, and the enhanced version coming at $28.99. For the customization options, the GAN Pyraminx comes with the GS Springs, which are blue, purple, yellow, and green. Purple being the loose one and yellow being the tightest one. The stock springs are the green springs, and I'm currently using the yellow springs and tensioned at the 0.8 option which is the tightest option you can get. I tried all the springs but the yellow ones seem to fit me. Basically anything lesser than the purple springs are just way too flimsy and anything more than the green and green itself keeps the premix itself in shape. There are no adjustable magnets or interchangeable magnets on the GAN Pyramix, which is probably a downside to most people knowing that the price is $29. For the X-Men Bell V1, you can change the magnets of the tips by removing the magnet. So basically there are three magnets on the tips and if you want it on the stronger side then you have to keep three magnets so that's how it works on the v1 although the v1 doesn't have um, springs so that's a downside so i want to talk about the tips of the springs it may sound funny but it's actually true i've had problems with them and a bad experience one they're so hard to remove on both of them especially the v1 it just hurts my fingernails, but luckily GAN slightly improved that problem, I guess. It's a 50-50. And when you drop the V1, all of the pieces just falls off. But on the GAN Pyraminx, it, it doesn't fall off because it comes in one piece. Now let's talk about the turning. The X-Men Bell Pyraminx has a solid turning and it's a lot heavier. The magnets are really strong which may be good for some people or it might be bad who knows but it's fast turning so i would say the magnet strength on the v1 is balanced with its own speed it's really clicky it almost feels like a pyramix with ball bearings on the other hand the gan pyramix has softer plastic and light weight which makes the pyramix have a fast and smooth turning I really love the turning but I have one problem with it. The magnets aren't as strong as the V1 
the tips don't really click in place which causes plus two so you have to look forward on that before buying this puzzle although this Gan Pyramix is really stable so comparing the shades of these two Pyramixes the shades on the V1 is a lot dull and on the Gan Pyramix it's a lot brighter so I'd say I love the shades of the Gan Pyramix more than the V1 Taking a look at the V1 mechanism, there's nothing too fancy honestly, just primary internals, magnets, and a normal core. But if we take a look at the GANs mechanism, um, it does have magnets on the core, which we really haven't seen in any other cube before. But it not only has magnets on the core, but it also has magnets on the pieces. This also has a honeycomb design which most of the GAN cubes have. It gives a smooth feeling, a soft feeling, and it helps spread the loop easily. So should you buy a GAN Pyramix to replace it with your V1? Well, it's up to you. If you want a top-notch Pyramix and you don't really care about the price, then this is definitely the way to go. If you just want a GAN Pyramix with a low price, then maybe go with the standard version. And if you're planning on getting the V1, I'd recommend getting the V2 instead. Just add $2 and you'll get the V2. Although I've seen some people complaining about it having a strip core. Anyways guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you want to see more content like this, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. All the cubes mentioned in this video will be linked down in the description as always. Thanks for watching guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.